The SDP Corporation was founded just before the turn of the century by three men. Their names were Stephen E. Boisvert, Jason J. Cunningham, and Garrett G. D. Rucucci. Their idea was to produce family-friendly radio shows in the popular vaudeville style, which would tie together the four corners of the country to bring entertainment to those who didn't attend the theater and had no readily available quality entertainment. The Silverdome players continued their tours around the U.S. until Stephen Boisvert, who had long been interested in the latest technology, discovered a new medium, film. He soon met with Jason Cunningham, but before long, the SDP had produced its first motion picture. leadership of Jason Cunningham, the vaudeville show was packed away and all the resources were shifted to the motion picture industry. It was at this time that Silverdome players became Silverdome Productions. Upon Stephen E. Boisvert's retirement, a new member was needed. David S. Somerville was hired soon after, causing the start of the golden era of film. But it was short-lived, however, because of the First World War. During the war, the SCP responded to the crisis by sending picture crews to both document the war and to provide entertainment for the troops by showing films recorded back in the U.S. It was also during the war that the SDP first introduced the radio drama to its catalogue of theatrical enterprises. Jason Cunningham, Garrett Nicucci, and David Somerville also travelled extensively during this time, producing live shows everywhere they went. After the war, David Somerville and Garrett Nicucci pioneered the SDP's first live peacetime radio production, In Search of Youth. With this new medium, the SDP experienced its greatest amount of growth. Listeners all over the country gathered around the radio in their living rooms to listen to the WHET Extemporaneous Radio Family Hour, an hour of fun for the whole family. Soon, people were quoting the shows at home and with their neighbors, and SDP became a household name. Jason Cunningham brought his technical knowledge to bear on the shows, Gert Rucucci brought his natural charisma, and David Somerville continued with his timeless wit. The sudden and booming success during this time can be attributed to the variety of memorable moments in the characters, such as Gerriticus and Merlot. Hilarious storylines and situations helped entrance the audience and earned many new fans. When the recession set in, people turned to WHET, and the SDP helped them escape from the difficulties of this time. The financial impact of the recession hit the SCP's interests hard as sponsors like the Acme Acme Cream Company and Auntie Scalding Biscuits backed out of many advertising deals. The SCP sent the second war much the same way as it went to the first by entertaining the troops and broadcasting radio programs all around the world. David, Garrett and Jason spent much time out of the country and were well received everywhere they went. While Spain, Garrett was able to translate the show into Spanish and Jason did the same for France. David meanwhile used his extensive knowledge of Russian to strengthen delicate bonds between the US and the Russian Empire. These bonds are ultimately critical in bringing about the end of the Soviet Union and the birth of the Russian Federation. After the war, the SDP found a new audience in the baby boomers. As sales rose rapidly, the optimism of the country was reflected in the shows the SDP churned out by the dozens. Today, the SDP continues to provide the best in quality entertainment after endearing itself to generations of Americans, thanks mainly to the efforts of the friendly SDP staff who are dedicated to bringing you the best for right now and into the future. Do 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 do
I thought it was a really cool name, and so I called up my friend uh, Jason. Hey Jason, you want to make a film? Which I wasn't involved in, I didn't know anything about it. That started way back, five, five years ago probably. And uh, well, Jason hated it. I, I didn't know. I mean, film. I mean, honestly. So he started the Silver Dome Productions Corporation. He called up Garrett and uh, and he, he joined us. I knew David actually from um, various from the swim team and from Brigade. Um, Stockades, the church scout program. It's very random. I was just there at the meeting one time doing what I do, and then uh, Jason walks up to me and says, "David, would you like to be part of Silver Dome Productions?" I didn't know what I was getting myself into. And I sat there and thought, what? That's how the movie part of it came out. And we haven't done really any film since, but that's how it started. SDP sort of died for a while, nothing was going on. Yeah, it's, no, it's very true. It totally. didn't really die, it just kind of dwindled. And there was, it there was floundered really in nothing. script writing. Yeah, there was nothing going on. I mean, no shows were being recorded. I mean, not, no um, movie was being filmed or anything. And script ideas were bouncing around. Yeah, occasionally. But, but after not that, much. scripts were like, yeah. And it was actually a school project that I had to create a 20s radio show to, I don't know, get the feeling of the age. And I was with David Somerville, and I was also with Paul Wilson. Paul Wilson wrote our script for that, and if you listen to it, it's hilariously funny. And he wrote that the man is a scriptwriting genius. Since um, we needed equipment for this, of course, and we, Jason Cunningham, one of our closest friends, um, had this great equipment, and we wanted him to be a part of it also because of his great talent, as you know. Um, and so we went over to his house and just we got our script together and started recording, and it was great. We had a great time, wonderful time. It took days and days and days, and headaches and. It, we didn't get a great job on the final product, but we had so much fun doing it that we said, guys, we got to get together again. And I think it was within a month um, that we got back together again and created Dog Talk 1. <laughs> Phenomenon.